all right fam so we are back at it again with another crazy video now number one i just want to first off say Lil Nas x fam i have been praying for you you know what i'm saying i've been praying that you honestly truly seek the lord with all your heart okay truly seek the lord with all your heart fam but in today's video y'all this is not about him blaspheming God. Well, at least I hope not, okay? Because I did not watch the video just yet, okay? But apparently he apologized, you know what I'm saying? Allegedly, he apologized to the Christian community for blaspheming Jesus Christ and all things like that. But yeah, I just want to go through all the things that this man been doing to promote this J. Christ song, which I did react to, but I posted it on my other channel. So if y'all do want to go see that, it is on my other channel, The Pan TV. I will probably leave it in the link description box below. I don't be on that channel no more. So, you know, that channel is garbage. Okay, I don't be on that channel no more. But if y'all do want to see that reaction, it is over there. But without further ado, man, look. So I want to just, like, go through a little bit of the things that he was doing over the past couple weeks. And we're going to get to, like, his apology. So, right here. Nas, Nas, Nas. Who are you wearing? Who, who are you wearing? What was that? Alright, okay, I didn't even see that one, alright? Let's go team! First off, first, first, first off, I want to say, man, look, shout no. out to the body of Christ, man. Look at y'all in the comment section going crazy. How he go from Old Town Road to this? I don't even know. Depart from me, I never knew you. Hey, that's what that's what Jesus going to say to you if you don't repent. You know what I'm saying? God forgive them. That's exactly what Jesus Christ said on the cross. You know what I'm saying? He said, Father, forgive them for they do not know what they're doing. Look, this is this is the body of Christ right here. This is so sad. He looks good in every outfit. Okay, yeah, you're, yeah, you're canceled. The Lord will take care of him. The Lord did say the, the vengeance is his. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he will say, depart from me, I never knew you. That is facts. Lord, please help him. Iconic, you're canceled. Wearing, wearing slay? Just because I think you're celebrating, you're canceled. Okay, a lot of people, look, look, a lot of people been reading their Bibles talking about depart from me, he, uh, I never knew you. That is exactly what Jesus Christ will say. Who here misses the old town road, please? <sighs> I mean, this is what the industry do to you, my brother. The industry, the industry got all of these rappers being demonic and they're okay with it. They're okay pushing this on kids. You remember he came out with the, uh, what do you, what it was, uh, I, I don't know how the song went. The Old Town Road. Yes, he came out with that song. I don't even know how it went no more. It's song so old, but when he came out with that, man, it was lit. It was lit. You know what I'm saying? But now the industry is pushing this demonic stuff on these kids and people just don't, people just don't even know. People just don't even know, bro. We need a Lil Nas X size Doja collab. Yeah, that is a very demonic collab. So yes, yeah. <laughs> I will not be watching that because that is very demonic. Okay. Anyways, let's go team. Woo! Here we go. One, two, three, four. Go. Yeah, I don't want to get copyrighted. God bless you, bro. Could you please explain the symbol on your shirt and on your profile picture, please? I see, look, y'all, I swear, I seen this symbol, and fam, I really thought that junk was like the uh, the Balfamet goat, the Bal however you say it, the Balfamet goat, I really thought that was that symbol, and I, I, I still feel like it's that simple, I feel like it's just like, I don't know, I still feel like it's that simple, man, Lil Nas S is going to regret this someday, he really is, he really is, if he don't repent from his sins, he would definitely regret this one day, this was posted four hours ago, that is crazy, so this was posted four hours ago, and then he also made an apology today, all right, <sighs> I don't want to get copyrighted Bro, me realizing I just made it through the worst week of my life Alright Nope Okay Let me see I just want I want to play the video But I don't want to get copyrighted, y'all Okay I'll sing it for y'all. I'm so demonic. I'm so demonic. All right, I'm sorry, y'all. I had to troll. Yeah, of course. I don't know what's. I look. I don't know what's up with Lil Nas X and the devil, bro. I I don't know. I I truly don't know. That crossover was mad clean though. That that crossover was mad clean. But anyways, all right, here we go. This is the apology video right here, y'all. Okay. So enough talking. This is the apology video. So we're gonna see what this talking about. This is four minutes long, Lil Nas X. You better not be on no trolling stuff. Cause I will literally I done had it up here with you. No, I was playing, y'all. I'll, I'll still be out of love, you know what I'm saying? 
he just make me righteously mad. Anyways, let's go. Everybody, um, I wanted to not necessarily apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been. For I'm sorry. Did he just say I don't want to apologize? I'm sorry. Okay, let me stop pausing. Let's go back a little bit. That caught me off guard. Apologize, but I wanted to explain like where my head at and where it's been for like the last week. So first of all, when I did the artwork, I knew like there would be some upset people or whatnot, uh, simply cause you know, relation is a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. But I also didn't mean to like mock, this wasn't like a fuck you to you people, um, fuck you to the Christians. Like, you know, it wasn't, it was not that. It was literally me saying, oh, I'm back. I'm back like Jesus. Like that was like the whole thing. I'm not the first person to dress up as Jesus. I'm not the first rapper. I'm not the first artist and I won't be the last. Um, and I know like given my history with, you know, the call me by your name video, anything that I do related to religion can be seen as like mockery. That just was not the case with this. And I will say though, with the communion video, with me eating the crackers and juice, I uh, I thought that video was gonna be the video to lighten the mood, to take it down like less serious or whatnot. I thought that was something that we all wanted to do as kids or whatnot, but I didn't understand the idea of, um, you know, the reality of what it is. You know, it's me eating the communion, which is like the symbolism of like Jesus's blood and, and bones or something like that. I don't remember com completely, but um, I did not mean it to as like a cannibalism thing or whatever the freak. But I do apologize for that. I will say I am sorry for that. That that was overboard, though. I'm, I don't agree with all of Christianity's rules or whatnot. I know not everybody follows Christianity by the book 100 percent or, you know, the world would be a lot crazier. Um, but I do apologize for that. Uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> this is not like to try to get everybody on my good side or whatnot. This is more so to clear my own head about my own decisions. I know, I know like, you know, I, I messed up like really bad this time. Um, and I can act unbothered all I want, but it's, it's definitely like taking a mental toll on me. Uh, what else do I want to say? Um, I know this is not going to be like an immediate, like swift, everybody like moves forward or whatnot, but I do want my Christian fans to know that I am not against you. I was put on this earth to, you know, bring people closer together and promote love. And like, that's, that's who I am. I'm, I'm not like some, I'm not like some evil demon guy trying to destroy every body's values and stuff like that. That's, that's not me. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, um, and also with the video, there's no disrespect there. I thought me clearly not being on the side of the devil in that video was the, I don't know, was, was like there was an understanding there that I'm not like trying to diss uh, Christianity. Um, what was I going to say? What else? Uh, this is, this is, this is also, this is not like something I wrote down or whatnot. This is something off the top of my head. I'm trying to get out. Uh, lastly, again, I, I hope sooner or later we can move forward and I'm excited for the rest of, uh, this era and things I have planned and Hey baby. Um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's all I have to say for right now. I'm sending you guys love, I'm sending my fans love. I'm sending the people um, who I heard love. Um, yeah. First of all, don't blow me a kiss. I don't feel comfortable with that. Uh, now, nah, I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. But first off, I do. I, I don't want to say personally, I appreciate the apology. You know what I'm saying? Because number one, 
Look, Lil Nas, we all know you. We all know your character. Now you can change. You know what I'm saying? And I, and in re, in reality, bro, in reality, you know what I'm saying. What you did, I I get it. You you in the industry. This is this is what the industry want to push. We know for a fact. <laughs> you know for a fact that was straight blasphemy. The whole entire video, we bro, it was all straight blasphemy. We know this for a fact, bro. But. You know what I'm saying? But I, I appreciate the accountability. You know what I'm saying? Because honestly, a lot of people, you better than some pastors. <clears throat> William Murphy. Uh, but you better than some pastors. You you actually showed accountability. You didn't come back at you and say, Can you guys sing better than me? I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I'm throwing shots, huh? But no, seriously, you you're better than some pastors out here. You know what I'm saying? And then, first of all, you said if everybody followed the book, the world be a lot more crazier. That is so cap. That is so cap. If everybody followed the book from the T, the world would be so much better. You know why? Because when you look at the Ten Commandments, I'm look. First of all, let, let's 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 break it down. When you look at the Ten Commandments, you follow from the first ten, from the first commandment to the last commandment. The world would be so much better, bro. So much better. If you follow Jesus' teachings, so much better. You know what I'm saying? It will be so much better. The world be a better place, honestly. You know what I'm saying? But everybody entitled to their own opinion. I pulled out my Bible because it was the scripture I seen the other day in Psalms. Uh, it was Psalm 7. It said, if a person, Psalm 7, uh, Psalms chapter 7, verse 12. If a person does not repent, okay? If a person does not repent, God will sharpen his sword. He will bend and string his bow. He will prepare his deadly weapons and shoot his flaming arrows. Now, to a lot of people, that may sound like a cartoon, but in reality, bro, it's real. God will not be mocked, fam. God will not be mocked. You know what I'm saying? You can try to laugh at Jesus all day long. You can try to mock him all day long, but just know your time is coming. You know what I'm saying? Your time is coming. And again, we all go have a judge to answer to at the end of our life. So, I just watched this video a few minutes ago and he said a beautiful quote. He said, just because you don't believe in a judge does not mean that you're not going to go to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can go to court and you may not believe in a judge and you may think a judge is fake, but guess what? That judge still going to determine where you go. They, the judge got your life in, in his or her hands. God literally has your entire life in his hands, his hands only. He has your entire life. But more importantly, not even just your physical life. He has your spiritual life in his hands. So he could send you to hell or he could send you to heaven. You know what I'm saying? That's why he said, do not fear man for they can only just, they can only destroy the outer body. He could destroy the spear. He could destroy the soul. That's what he could destroy. He could destroy what's inside. You know what I'm saying? That's why we need to fear God. And it's a level of reverence, bro. And I know that you don't have the reverence for the Lord because number one, bro, you lap dance on the freaking devil. I mean, that that explains it for itself but when you truly commit yourself to christ bro you go have a powerful testimony and bro you know how many people follow you 19 point something million people follow you on youtube so that literally means that if you decide to turn your life around you just allow you just inspired kids to follow after your footsteps because because if you turn your life to jesus you got kids that just going to follow you because they love you. So now they're turning their life to Jesus. You got grown people in the comments like this person, you ate. <laughs> you ate. Like, come on now. They're going to start, to, oh, man, he's a Christian now. And then, of course, you got people that's never going to believe. But again, Lil Nas, it's time for you to repent. You apologizing to us. All we could do is say, we, we feel you. We understand. No, what you need to be doing is you need to be repenting. You need to be asking God for forgiveness because, again, we are mere humans just like you, fam. We're going to die just like you, fam. So, therefore, you apologize to us and your Christian community to keep your fan base or whatever you're trying to do. It ain't, look, for us, this ain't nothing. But you need to be repentant because once you repent, the God has the final say so. You know what I'm saying? God has the final say so at the end of the day. So, I'm not here to, I accept your apology because me accepting your apology, what that's going to do? I still, I'm still not going to listen to your music. You know what I'm saying? But again, you need to be repentant to the lord repent for the kingdom is near you know what i'm saying uh but i want to read some of these comments because apparently some of these people was going off on the comment session uh so let me go ahead and check some of these christians real quick you feel me um somebody said no because after communion at church us kids will always run up and finish off the plates love the song man what 
why would y'all te- why would y'all pastor teacher why would y'all let them do you're canceled uh praying for y'all in the comments we go see depart from me i never knew you damn bro you gonna still say this bro we get it that's like we get it that's what jesus gonna say to him but man he just apologized you know what i'm saying show some love show some grace uh you wait god bless you it's great don't apologize <laughs> people like you <laughs> lovely cyrus oh love cyrus okay but one more thing what does that symbol mean nas you don't have to explain yourself don't sweat it we saw your intentions people who are reactive can't appreciate what can't appreciate what you what you were going for we love your art how is this art Y'all was the same people that said him talking on the devil was art. <laughs> him shaking buns on the devil was art too, right? How is this art? This is this is not art. I don't. The definition of art and music now has completely changed. See, art to me was like Alicia Keys back in the day, the early the early uh nineties music and rap music. That to me was art. You know what I'm saying? That to me that was art. Today's generation of music, this is not art. This is mumble this is not this this don't even take nothing no time to even make you know what i'm saying the the, the industry what they do they blaspheme christianity why they blaspheme christianity because christianity is the only truth that's that's out there if, if if it was other religions that was truth they will blast those religions too but the only religion they blaspheme is christianity they don't blast they don't blaspheme muhammad and buddha and hindu whatever they don't blaspheme all those because those are false religions duh but anyways I don't know where I was going with that. I don't even know why I said that. That was just on my heart to say. So, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But anyways, man, hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Hit the like button, subscribe to on post notifications. Uh, shout out to Lil Nas X. You know what? Just because you held, you you took yourself and you held some accountability, I'm going to heart the video for you. And I'm going to take it back because that was actually for the video. Okay, now I was playing. I'm going to heart the video for you, fam. I'm going to heart the video for you, man. Shout out to Lil Nas X, bro, uh, for, you know, holding himself accountable. Like, unlike some pastors, unlike some teachers and prophets, whatever. They don't hold themselves accountable. So, shout out to you, Lil Nas. Uh, anyways, man, Jesus loves you. God loves you. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? I just pray that you truly repent and turn away from your wicked ways and get yourself out the industry and really become a civil person, please. Okay? But I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.